<laughs> Yo, it's your boy! Hey everybody, it's Tyler from Valve News Network. How are you guys doing today? I am joined by a, another person, which is a rare occurrence in my basement dwelling over here. I never get to see anybody other than Electra, and usually she comes down here to tell me to do the dishes. But this is Skyman. Don't call her Skyman Slash because the name was taken. Thanks, YouTube. You're welcome. Anyways, so today we're going to be playing some Team Fortress 2. Uh, Creators.tf, we just shipped a new uh, community event, and Skyman here, this person who's alive and breathing, I hope, uh, we will be Probably playing... Now. Well, for the time being. Um, and that's not a threat. That's not a threat. Do you acknowledge that I did not threaten you? Sure. Thank you. I'm not going to get COS for making... Uh, okay, anyways, hi! Um, so today's been a fucking nightmare of a great day. Uh, and Skyman here is a huge beta nerd, like myself. So this stream will devolve into uh, repair node and Gen 4 Pokemon oh, beta discussion. Um, because in case you don't know, Skyman has nothing to do with Skyrim. It has everything to do with Shaman. Nice. The Gen 4 legendary. Hope you're doing well and can't wait Behind for more than Right there. That. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, for those that are unaware of who you be, give a little introduction to the, to the, to the VNN v viewers. Introduce them as kiddos. Hi, kiddos. I used to make a lot of TF2 content, and then the TF2 content well dried up, mm. and I got burnt out. Mm. So now I make a lot of video essays about random ass stuff. For example? Um, what was the last one? The last one I did was Gaming Fez, and if they're good or bad. Or the one that most people watched being how team-based games distinguish their teams. So why don't you walk us through a couple gaming fads and tell us if they are good or bad? Oh, God. It's not even specific gaming fads. It's what do gaming fad genres themselves bring? Like oh, gaming fads royale? as a concept. Yeah. You as should it, like, go. Our, the our battle royale. Good. <laughs> check out her videos. Go watch them. So Skyman uh, tweeted uh, two weeks ago. I don't remember about how she's going to be returning to Team Fortress 2, and she's going to be streaming Team Fortress 2 for the first time in months, and she's worried. Because, like, did something, like, die in your room just now? Uh, I have very jankily put up my sound absorption foam, and it is now coming off of the wall towards nice. me. Nice. Nice. Continue. So if a, if, a bit, if a bit of foam comes and hits her in the face, yeah. it's expected. Anyways, um, we're going to be, yeah, uh, if the audio is weird or anything, let me know. I'm going to be adjusting it live. Um, what? Well, thank you. Skyman is the coolest man in the Badlands, mm -hmm. despite being a girl. Skyman, Skyman is the coolest man in the like Badlands, do, despite being a girl. Love Skyman will learn to hate me like you do, Tyler. Love, Sir Perry. Hey. Fuck off. Okay, love you, Sir Perry. Um, do you know Bionicles? Like, the toy? Yeah. Yeah, sure, I do. Yeah, so Sir Perry is a is a frequent donator that paid Electra $150 to write a one-page essay about Bionicles. Welcome to my stream. So we are going to be playing Creators.tf. We just shipped the classful uh, uh, community event. Three new weapons, three new maps, bunch of new contracts, bunch of new cosmetics. Um, Skyman here is aware of Creators.tf. Hasn't tried it yet, as far as I'm aware. Um, I am not. And we're gonna play on it. So, Skyman, um, are you in Team Fortress 2? Yes, I am in TF2. How many I'm hours do you have on Team Fortress 2? <sighs> 2,650 hours. That was horribly stated. I have 2,650. You have almost twice as many as I do. Congratulations. Really? Yeah, congratulations. And yet I'm probably worse. I completely disagree. By the way, this this bit, this, uh, uh, we're sponsored by Germex. Moisturizing original hand sanitizer. We're not, but y'all should go wash your hands because I don't want my grandma to die. All right, so um, today has been absolutely nuts. Uh, I got some Left 4 Dead 2 news. That video will be out Monday. I'll give y'all a little hint about what it's about. Um, Valve's working on Left 4 Dead something. Um, so that's gonna be weird. Skyman, do you like Left 4 Dead at all? I mean, oh yeah, yeah. Um... I would say third third favorite franchise. Yeah, that's about right. Okay. Behind TF2 and Portal? TF2 and Portal, yeah. 
Sounds good. Sounds good. Um, all right. So we're going to go on the creators.tf website. Skyman, if you would go to creators.tf, you will see a beautiful website that is very expensive to host. Um, oh, I imagine. And um, yeah, I so you have to sign in through your, your Steam account and then you get to pick your contract with the contractor. Oh, Twitch still says I'm playing Mario because it refuses to change. Gotta when, love it. For some reason, when I start streaming, it refuses to change. That's like a weird recent glitch. Oh, oh. it's not recent. I think it's dependent on their servers. Oh, because, fun. Yeah, it happens sporadically to me. That's real fun. Okay, so today, for me, I'm gonna be trying and finishing my expert scout contract. Dominate a player for 15 points, get five kills in a single life for 10, and get an MVP for 30. Okay, do you see the contractor button on the top mm -hmm. of the screen? Yes, so you need to start with your creator's contract, which is very simple. Um, and any of the servers that you go on on our website will work with this contract. So click on the find a server button, we're going to find a server. The server we're going to go to is the uh, East US Chicago number 204 playing mm -hmm. CP Mountain Lab right now. Just click that connect oh, button. Holy Mountain Lab. Well, I have complete control over the server, so we can change it to whatever we want, but it's empty. It's, oh, it's actually <laughs> No, it's bag. not. <laughs> oh, it's, it's full already? It's full. I can't get on. <laughs> how the hell did I get on, and how the hell did what? it say it was empty? Also, you excited to see my right, new go. screen fortress map? I am so excited. Well, we will take ah. Sir Perry. You all right? What happened? You know when it joins a server and it has that really loud noise that... The bow it... No! What the hell is it doing? That hurts. <clears throat> so that crashed my game. You, go? you good? Can you hear? I think I went in. I got in. Yeah. You I, got I'm good. in? Oh, is it on Banana Bay now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Congratulations. All right, I'm gonna talk really calmly because you just went through something traumatic and stressful. Calm you down. Um, so, oh, the stream, you want us to stream Day of Defeat instead of Team Fortress 2? I think, I think you can fuck right off. Um, we're not gonna do that. Um, yeah, so now it's full for me. Oh, no, I'm in. Okay, never mind. Um, I would assume you have complete like, yeah, I access do. Yes, I time. do. Um, they're, uh, they're my damn servers, I better. All right, so I am afraid to know how much that this ends up costing. We're not even going to talk about it. Exclamation point, yeah, donate I'm in the chat. Yeah, I'm not going to ask you, but um, Jesus. We do have song requests turned on for today. All right, so I'm going to be playing on blue team. All right, what team are you on? Oh, I'm downloading. Oh, that's right. So uh, yeah. I'm not a part of the team yet, Okay. but I'll so, probably do blue. So we're going to talk about uh, a little bit of what happened today because you seem a bit uninformed. Uh, you're not, uh, you, 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 you have a life and a job and things. Uh, congratulations. Um, oh, you didn't have work today? I didn't have work today. Okay, well then no excuse, but I'm still gonna explain it. Um, so, uh, <laughs> this is a funny story. So some guy, uh, about two years ago, hacked into Microsoft, right? Got arrested. Um, and while under federal um, observation for hacking into Microsoft and stealing trade secrets, the guy hacked into Nintendo while being observed by the federal government. So it is the same. <clears throat> it's the same guy, person. yes. Yeah, okay. So this guy hacks into Nintendo and steals two terabytes of archived files. Almost the entire archive uh, tape, long-term long -term storage archive at Nintendo, between 1985 and 2011. Ooh. Yeah. If you think it's on there, it's probably on there, and about 10% of it leaked today. All right? So the thing is, uh, the majority of what leaked today came out on tape drive snapshots. And the interesting thing about tape drive snapshots is you need to uh, data mine through them chronologically so you're literally digging through the files and eventually finding, oh, look, a, a, pic, a, a sprite of Luigi flipping you off from Super Mario <laughs> I did Mario see that World. one. It's real. That's actually in the development files of Super Mario World. You know, just random stuff like that. You um, know they were bored. Of course. But then if you also end up finding things like the entire source development repository of 
Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Okay, now what this means is you have every single asset ever created for the game in the history of its development just sitting there, and you can essentially tell it to compile a version of the game from any date in development. So for example, you could just go, okay, I wanna play the version of the game from 14 months before it came out. And you just go, okay, boop, 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 boop. Takes three hours to compile, put it on a flash cart. You're playing it, it's fine. Don't even worry about it. So we have such a fuck ton of Betamon from every generation between one and five right now. Um, black and white stuff doesn't seem to be anywhere, but it's what? there, but no one really hey, cares. This is my it's favorite black. site. <laughs> like, it's, it's the <laughs> black sheep <laughs> of the Pokemon <laughs> series. That's also, not Sword and Shield. Uh, they're all the black sheep after, after really Gen 4. So, are there, have there been new ones found? Because I know of the, uh, the giant ass gold and silver. Yes, so that right. was the very first leak that ever came from this hacker, yes. right? The the Space World 97 build. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, have they been found? I'm sure they have. So not only did that leak, but like 50 other things were, were discovered almost immediately, and then things continued to be discovered. So like an entire cut, an entire canceled game called Super Donkey, where you play as Mario's father trying to capture Donkey Kong, and it's fucking awesome. Like, it's the whole game right there. They never released it. And so, like, small things like, oh, unused Pokemon sprites are getting buried, right? There's just way too much. Thing. No, I know. So, myself and uh, my German programming wizard friend, Piston Miner, whom in the past has, has done some magical, magical things with programming and video games, are starting an archival team and we're literally digging through everything that was found as quickly as we possibly can. Um, so, worry not, young soul, who's only a few years younger than me, but fine. I mean, a few months. Um, I was about to say, yeah, yeah. we're the same year. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of attention on everything. The problem is, it's all happening so quickly. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it happened today. So being able to, to, to give you a full rundown on absolutely everything that is available to us now is fucking impossible. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm not public, after this stream, I'm not publicly talking about it until September 1st because I kind of want to see how Nintendo reacts to it legally. Uh, they're not going to be happy. No, they're not going to be happy, but it's this Nintendo. is technically have been, this technically has existed since, since early 2018, late 2017. Like it was mm -hmm. stolen back then, right? It's just now hitting the public. Um, Pokemon Pink might be in there. Uh, English translation of Pokemon Trading Card 2, Trading Card Game 2, I'm hearing, might be in there. Um, unfortunately, no Earthbound 64, but I think that's because um, it was technically second party. But all right, so. Um, I mean, I'm sure Earthbound 64 didn't even get that far in development. It's far it enough. Seemed it seemed to be canceled yeah. relatively no, early. Yeah, I mean, it was, but then there's also evidence that they moved it over to GameCube for a very short period of time, so I have no fucking clue. Yeah. Nobody knows what happened in that game. Other than Shikisato Itoi himself. Other than Mother 3 is essentially it. Mother 3 is good. I like I like uh, I like all them games. So okay, so let's 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 try and get the, the audience a bit more familiar with you as a as a as a gamer. Um, oh God, I'm an elite gamer. No, you are. I mean, you you have a you have a Twitch you have a Twitch you have a YouTube, you, you have a name, Skyman. Slash. Oh, yes, my name is Elite Status. You played on a door for a while, and now you're playing on a, a desk. Congratulations. Okay. Yeah, it was so, a pain in the ass to get. I'm not going to talk about it. So in no particular order, what are your 10 favorite, just like 10 favorite games? Doesn't necessarily have to be the best games, just the ones that come to your mind when I say 10 favorite games. Go. Obviously, Team Fortress 2, mm. even if I don't super actively play it now, it will always have a special place in my heart. You can't see it, but I have... The Nine Mercenaries sitting on my wall behind me. Hmm. Um, so, TF2. Uh, I kind of have to say Portal 2 because Portal 2 was the game that really got me into Valve's creations. Hmm. Um, Portal 2 is fantastic. We all know this. Ten, 10 is hard. Well, I mean, it doesn't necessarily, just that's an arbitrary number, but just whichever one's come to your mind, you know? Um, the last one that readily comes to my mind is Journey. Okay. Uh, I absolutely love Journey. I love the experience it tries to give players, mm. and it it deserved the 
was it Grammy that it got nominated yes. for? Yes. Yeah, it absolutely deserves it. It is a fantastic soundtrack. What do you like Flower or any of the clones that have come after it? Um, I I have my respects for Abzu. I really like mm. Abzu, mm. especially since I like water and ocean stuff. Mm. Yay. Um Flower Flower is good, but I don't think anything beats Journey. Sure. I know the sure. developers of Abzu are working on Pathless. <laughs> Um, and it looks like I, I am excited for it because I know a lot of people have issues with stuff like Journey and Abzu because it's not very gameplay heavy. No, it's it's completely exploration, and then you're opening yeah. the few locked doors underwater, and then you ride a what is it like a like a walrus or a whale? Walrus might as a, a friggin' like a curtain whale, banner whale, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, we it's have an it's very much in our fucking chat. Holy shit! No, you. I'm talking about you. I'm sorry. Uh, what's the word? I don't know what a banner whale is. I'm very impressed. I don't know what a banner whale is either. I'm making that up. Um, um, but yeah, Pathless looks like it's going to be rectifying the issue that people have with there not really being any gameplay. So I'm excited for that. I agree. I agree. Um, yeah, Pathless looks pretty good. Um, so the three that came to your mind super quick were... Team Fortress 2, Portal 2, and Journey. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Any? Let's try and make it to at least five, because that's three, and there are um, at least ten games out there. So yeah, yeah, just, just, just maybe ten maybe. games. Who knows? Uh, unrelated. I'm doing horrendous looking. It's okay. We all, we all, we all are in life and things. I expected to get my butt handed to me. But um, for another game, since I've talked about it recently in my private life, uh, Kid Icarus Uprising, which if you don't know, okay. um, was a Kid Icarus game, you know, the, the angel in Smash yes. that shoots arrows at people. Yeah, he had a game on the 3DS. Mm. It was really friggin' good, but nobody ever remembers it exists. It's my brother's favorite game, my younger brother. Um... Uh, it's a fantastic game. When I was younger, he would only the Dark Pit theme would be blaring out of his room all the time. I tried to give it a chance. I have massive hands. I have like yeah, really yeah. meaty hands, and I don't like it. The when the, when it came out, it was on the I had like the original 3DS, and trying to play it the way it's intended. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. the one thing I'll I'll you know accept the criticism for is the control scheme is very dependent on people's yeah. hands and play style. You yeah. cannot play that game standing up, and that's a problem for a mobile <laughs> game. Um, but if you can get around that, it's it's a fantastic experience. It's hilarious how whenever Sakurai makes a game that isn't Smash, it's still in its like menus and UI. It's still Smash. They can only make one kind of menu, you know? The uh, he just gave up on trying to make new <laughs> menus. It is the exact same it's UI. It's the same thing, and it's like I don't have a problem with it. I just thought it was funny back when it first came out. Yeah, I mean, I have it in that box with the AR cards and that weird yeah. stand thing it came with because they knew games were hard couldn't. to play. Was that four? I think that was four. Um, what do you mean? Oh yeah, that's four games. That's four games. Yes, sir. Uh, 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 I know this will anger people because we're playing TF2, but uh, Overwatch. really like Overwatch. Really yeah, like I it. I saw you. I saw you upset or some negative towards recent patch notes that came out. What? Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna get into that. Hands Blizzard. My favorite game Blizzard has my good favorite. ideas, but their implementation is just generally is not good. Legit made me feel like the um, I but I really like Overwatch. I'm actually better at Overwatch than TF2, game. but who do you also, mean? Uh, support. I'm a support. I'm a filthy support main. So I play okay. any of the supports. That's not filthy. Get, Everybody I needs a healer more. once in a while. <laughs> who do you um, main in TF2 mostly then? I switched to Scout because I got really tired of playing Medic. I hated it. You used to be a Medic main. Okay. Uh, yeah, hence the hence the get up on my icons. Ah, uh, uh... how about that? Scott, uh, Sakurai's wife designs the menus? There's no way. Is that true? I, I can't confirm or deny that one. She needs to evolve, do something new. 
It's a good menu. Yeah, uh, I'll give yeah. them, well, Smash 4's menu was very bad. Yeah. But the design is nice. I saw you still own a Wii U and have it hooked up. Respect. I preach. I have one. Hell yeah. I to had to hook it up to get footage. Oh. Yeah. To play like the three games that are still worth playing on it. So, yeah. Not even that. I hooked it up to get Wii footage. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I mean, so it's funny because like I'm a big collector of garbage that I don't need and fill in my house with stuff that will eventually get thrown out by the time I have kids. But, you know, um, yeah, I mean, I love the Wii. The Wii is the best system Nintendo ever made because uh, that was the one when I was 10. Um, See, I like the GameCube. See, I wasn't allowed to have the GameCube because before the Wii, my mom used to tell me that video games were the devil attempting to infiltrate my body. So. I, I have a few friends that had that. <laughs> and now they are hopelessly addicted to video games. Yeah, so you that's know what? what happens. It, it's the opposite effect. Mom. <laughs> Thanks, mother. <laughs> so... Alright, so in order to be able to understand Skyman as an individual, you need to know... Portal 2, Team Fortress 2, Overwatch, Journey, and Kid Icarus Uprising. If you don't like those games, you're not gonna like her. So you better go play them. You better go play them. So. And if you couldn't tell the the pattern, which I assume nobody could, because it's kind of random. Uh, I only like games with personality. So. Oh. Okay. Every one of those games has an identity, has a very distinct identity. Yes. Okay. I see that. Yes. Huh. Yeah. I wouldn't have noticed that. Damn. Good for you. Yeah. I mean, my favorite games are pretty vanilla. Uh, what? What? Tell Skyman how Bionicles were banned. Love so Tell Skyman how Bion- Oh, yeah, Bionicles are banned from my house because they were the devil, yeah. Really? Same with Pokemon, because it was gonna teach me the theory of evolution, yeah. Oh, I got one. Not not me, but somebody I knew. Um, they banned Harry Potter because witchcraft and wizardry. Me too. But they let, but they let their kids read Percy Jackson. Jackson. Mm. In a very craft. religious household. I think it's because they're just following whatever they heard on conservative talk radio that day as being evil. Fuck I feel me. like I feel like Percy Jackson would have been on there though. Yeah, I know, but it's whatever's most popular because Rush Limbaugh is a lazy hack that has a weird thing wired into his head for some reason. Um So Skyman Slash. From what you I'm sorry, I <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite cut feature of Team Fortress 2 that you're currently aware of? God, fuck. I, I have to, like, reel back my brain. It is updated to the point of, like, forgetting a lot of mm, things, because mm. I haven't exercised this knowledge in a while. Um... Oh, Christ. That's a hard one, because it's... So many different things. Um, okay, well, we'll play a game then. We'll play a game then. All right. Yeah. I'm going to name three things. Okay. Two of them are legitimate cut features. One of them I made up. Okay. Okay? You tell me mm -hmm. which one you think is the lie. All right? A throwable brick. Okay? Okay. Snowballs. And water balloons. You're a dick for this one. <laughs> um, okay. I think it's the snowball. You're right. Congratulations. You win nothing. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Correct. I get clout. You get the clout. Yeah. So at one point, Soldier was going to have a brick. Yeah. That he could throw. Um, water balloon was pyro, wasn't it? Water balloons was, started as a pyro weapon, but then evolved into a summer event that never came to be where yeah. all maps were going to have piles of water balloons that you could pick up and throw on people that did nothing. Um, so, yeah. And then Snowballs uh, is a CSGO thing. So oh, I didn't know. even... Well, I don't pay attention to CSGO, so... It don't have that personality. It don't have that art style. I, I don't like tactical shooters. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. There were water balloons? There were water balloons. Yes. 
Um, all right, let's do three more. All right, are you ready? So let me quick, yep. let me quickly think about because like I know I told you some last time we talked, and I don't want it to be easy. Um, uh, okay, okay. A pyro flamethrower that acts like a heavy minigun in that it has a spin-up. Shoes okay. that the soldier could wear that replaces gunboats that sinks him like he's falling into water. Cement blocks. And a game mode where a payload was a massive train with a single capture point that moved around different areas of the map. Well, you told me about the cement block. Fuck! So, Fuck. obviously not that one. Uh, shoot. Um, I think the minigun one also existed, but I'm not entirely sure. Because I know that there were, I, I know that there, there's a lot of different sort of payload variations. Hmm. So what was the payload one again? Okay, so this payload game mode worked like, instead of it being a small cart that you had to push, it was a massive train that didn't need to be pushed, but instead needed to be captured like an attack defend point in order to be moved to the next area of the map. That sounds a lot like Snowplow. Sure, it does, but it's a not. A lot like Yeah, Snowplow. but it's, it, instead of, the, the point itself was on the train yeah. And the and the 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 um, area around the point itself would change depending on where it was at and benefit different classes and play styles. Mm -hmm. uh, it was heavy in experimentation for different subclasses and things. So, yeah. So which one's the lie? I want to say the game mode, but I'm not sure. Okay, well, we need a final answer, so game mode. Yeah, you're right. Fuck. <laughs> Just good make, explanation, though. I was just De making it up. <laughs> definitely a good attempt at trying oh, to convince. Damn it. Fuck. Uh, yeah, and then I think I told you a bunch of others. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. All right. Oh. Okay. Um, you ready? A smoke yep. grenade for the spy. Give me one call? second. Yeah, is somebody breaking into your house? Team me call, please. Ah. Nah. Come on. Ah. It's a, it's a common occurrence when I talk to Skyman when stuff just like falls in her, her in her house a lot. Cool. Don't know what that was. Sorry. Do you have neighbors that bang on the walls? I've been here for two weeks, so who knows? Oh, okay. Um, but we both felt it from underneath us, so something happened. You felt it? It was that hard? Yeah. Oh, damn. I felt it from the floor. That's And he's on scary. the other side, so I don't know what it was. That's terrifying. Anyhow, Jesus Christ. Don't worry. If I cut off, I'm probably dead. Yay! That's what we need in this in this era is more death. At least you'll be Anyhow. free of this this nightmare. Anyways, yeah. So, uh, spy a uh, spy smoke grenade uh, that is recharged and replaces your disguise kit. So instead of mm -hmm. being able to disguise, you could uh, essentially fill a large area with smoke and get out. Mm -hmm. um, a gun for the spy that doesn't damage, but instead forces a class change. An immediate class change. Um, okay. And then uh, a replacement for the uh, sapper, or no, 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 a replacement for the disguise kit that allows the spy to throw sentry, what the fuck? Oh, to throw sentry guns not sentry good, to throw sappers, to put down EMPs, essentially, allow people to see other teammates, like enemies through the wall, and a few other things. Smoke grenade, class changing gun, throwable EMP sappers, control? EMP thing. Well, 
obviously, if this is like valve specific things, this my argument for one of these is not really going to hold up. But there are throwable sapper mods. Yes, there are, uh, That's and they're true. fun, and they they're kind of weird because you throw the sapper and then you don't have a sapper until mm -hmm. you go to a resupply cabinet. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if that came from like some code mm. that they had found and wanted to restore, or if that was just an idea someone had. Mm. Um, That's up to you to figure out. What was the second one again? It was uh, the class change one. So it's a gun that instead of damaging your opponent, it would force a random class change. You did not have control over it. That seems too random for Valve's liking. I, I'm saying this despite the fact random crits exist in this exactly. game, yeah, but- Yeah, that's true, that's true. But they also know that people play servers with server <laughs> limits, with or class limits. Mm -hmm. Jeez. Um, that one? No, it's the smoke grenade. Damn it. The smoke grenade doesn't exist. The thing that they cut, this, this gun, is actually called the DNA gun. And it was cut from the Spy vs. Engineer update that was supposed to launch in late 2014, around the holidays. Yeah. So it yeah, had two... wondered where the hell that one went. Yeah, so it had two variations of operation, not in terms of actual gameplay mechanics, but in terms of its development. There were two different things that they tested. There was the version that I told you where it literally would randomly force a class change on an enemy, which people thought was fucking stupid in playtest. I would have liked that in like a silly server, but yeah. you throw that in a comp game, I'm going to be pissed. So they then changed it to you stab a teammate and gain their DNA and then shoot that at an enemy and change them to that specific class. This is the version that was far more developed and leaked in the recent source code leak and re-implemented by a friend of mine, and it's fucking fun. Didn't Spy vs. Engineer... God, which, which update did that become? Gun mode. Yeah, okay, yes. that's it. Like, I couldn't remember, because I haven't exactly looked at the timeline for the update any time recently. No, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but very few bits and pieces of Spy vs. Engineer became gunmetal. Skins mm -hmm. and, co and uh, quests, contracts, you know, we didn't have the contractor, we had quests you would be sent, you know, back then. That was the that was an original thing. You were gonna have a quest book, like like an in-game book, with like lore and comics added into it as well. And then- No, of course that'll never happen. No, yeah, that's yeah. why that got cut. Exactly, yeah, but each week it would be updated to have a new chapter in it. Um, and yeah, they, they, cut, they cut Spy vs. Engineer for um, mechanical reasons because they had um, teleport replacements, mini dispenser, um, level four sentry, um, level oh, 4 Sentry scares me. Level 4 Sentry is essentially like the winger, but instead of being able to control where it shoots, you could walk the damn thing around. No, no, please, <laughs> I'm so glad that, no, I don't need this. They then tried to recycle the level 4 Sentry as an MVM boss. Uh, imagine the Sentry- That'll take. No, I know, but imagine a Sentry Buster, but instead it's a massive Giga Sentry that like runs around and attempts to punch you. Um, it's, I've seen it in action. It's amazing. Uh, too bad Valve's terrible at, at, you know, releasing cool shit. Um, yeah, but then you also had spy traps, which was the, the, the fourth thing, the third thing I tried to tell you about. And I'm not going to go very far into it because me and Moonly are actually working on a big spy trap project. So stay tuned. Moonly is the, the, the other creator of this. We're the co-creators of Creators.tf, so... He's the guy that programs all the shit. I'm the guy that gets people to play on the shit. So, this is my favorite map we introduced. Like, I didn't oh, expect this one. one. This is Sludge Pit. Yeah, this is one of the new ones we introduced today. And we were we just had a small play test of it. It was like, oh, it's pretty fun. Then I've been playing it all day. It's so fun. I love this map. So, How yeah. depth of the uh, play test, out of curiosity? Uh, for this, we've been play testing since March, so I think 150 at this point. Um, we ship big major updates every three months. 
This one got delayed because we had a neo-Nazi server admin, and I'm sure you heard about that. Mm -hmm. And I'm not one of those people that's going to try and brush that under the rug. He was a neo-Nazi, or a, a, and a Ku Klux Klan sympathizer. Fuck him! Fuck him! <laughs> Jesus Why Christ. give him the attention? No, no, it, Mentioned that he was a, a horrible person. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to give a name, but he was awful. Um, no, I'm sure people have found the name. I feel like it say got it. put on Reddit. I'm going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I don't know. I'm going to move on because my mind is flustered anyways. Um, but yeah, so the spy traps were going to uh, replace your disguise kit, and they were going to give you four different abilities. Um, it was long uh, thought that each of these spy trap abilities that we had like references to throughout the years were individual mm -hmm. replacements and then we were going to release four pdas no it was one pda that could do four different things in the same way that the ng can build four different buildings um, i mean that's a really cool idea mm -hmm. um just just hold just just wait a little bit you know maybe one day you'll get to play with it you know maybe uh on servers with players that are well populated for some reason you know, just, maybe just hold on you know? Um, yeah, and there's a lot of really cool cut concepts. There's the TV sniper rifle. Have you heard mm -hmm. about this thing? You probably uh, yeah, heard. I, yeah, I yeah, vaguely yeah. heard about that one. And you don't, you can't zoom in. Instead, you have a, an active television that shows a, a zoomed in camera field on the front of your sniper rifle. Uh, I love it. I love it. Um, so. So, what do you think your next video is going to be, Skyman? Not TF2. Not TF2? Okay, what do you think your next TF2 video is going to be, Skyman? I... I don't know, because, like... There hasn't been a whole lot that I've wanted to talk about. Mm, mm, mm. A, lot right. of, a lot of the stuff I actually really like talking about was the obscure crap. Sure, like, sure. Like, lore characters and... Yeah. Okay. Maybe, maybe for April Fools, I'll do like a 10 minute video essay on Francis the Talking France, but- You should do it! I will, I will fund it. I will fund the video. No, yeah, I, I have a feeling like you could do a, a 35 minute video on um, Mad Milk. Oh boy, yeah, or how many, how many different minute series? Video, 23 minute video on the Rap Assassin. Or you could just release a mixtape. Boy, I sure wish I had the ability to compose music. <laughs> I unfortunately don't. <laughs> Who does? You don't need you don't need that. I know you a few people that do. <laughs> but Does your boyfriend compose music? No. Oh. oh. Could you he get does him lighting? To? You could ask him. No, I don't think I think he probably knows about as much as I do. Well, I think if you combined your knowledge, there could be a partial you know, like maybe. Uh, yeah, let me just. I don't. I don't even know what people use to compose music. Let me, <laughs> random software. I'll just punch some notes in. Maybe, maybe I'll it. make something yeah, good. Yeah, and then over top of it, be like, I hate random crit. Boop 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 <laughs> boop. Yeah, there you go. And then do a music video where like, like you're out, you're outside your apartment with a shovel. And you hit one person and then they get mad, and then you hit the other person and then they like fly away. Yeah. I, uh, I sadly have t spy some TF2 I would love props, to see you know. Those spy traps. Also <laughs> what, wouldn't be hard, although one of them is Tyler. basically Loves a legitimate weapon, so maybe not. Actually, nah. two of them are. What What are they? What you got? What you got? Uh, I have a conscientious objector that is made of actual wood, metal, and exposed nails. So. Holy shit. What do you have as the sign? What's on the. Front. Oh, okay. So it was actually made because I was in a, I was in a Dragon Con parade, which Dragon Con's like a mm -hmm. giant ass con here in Atlanta. I, I was in that one year, and uh, the first year I did it, I went back and watched the recap because they, sh they stream it and they put it on TV when they've done it, and they put it on TV. They, they put it on, they put it on local TV. Nice. So I was watching it because I wanted to see like the the group that we were. And they were, we were coming past the camera and they were like, and here's, they paused and then they bypassed us because they realized they had zero idea who we were. <laughs> they were like, oh, hey, look, it's Borderlands because Borderlands was behind us. Mm. So, uh, it was so like the next a, year, it was a group of TF2 people. 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, so the next year, I'm like, I'm, we're we're not we're getting identified this year. Uh, so <laughs> it is literally just the TF2 lineup with the logo. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's fucking cool. Did you build it yourself? Uh, yeah. It was built in a day from craft supplies from Home Depot and like, you know, crafting stores. Hmm. Uh, so the the sign itself is a little bit not super. You know what? Fuck it. I can bring it. Go in. get it. By the way, exclamation point mask in the chat if you want to get yourself one of these. Now, I have no idea what you can see at all. Um, so this might not even appear in frame. Ah, I have no idea oh if you can see this. Oh my. Uh, oh my. Did you kill yeah, so somebody for the blood? I wish. <laughs> oh wow. Now, it's uh it's actually signed by Nolan. Is it really? Yeah, he was at the convention that year, so I brought it surprisingly the, the staff let me bring it in, even though you know <laughs> it is a nails. legitimate weapon. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Proud of you. That's dope ass. I go to too many cons. I miss cons. Yeah. We're not having any anytime soon for obvious I, I reasons. Don't, I don't think so, unfortunately, no. Um, so do you think that Team Fortress 2 has a future in the face of Valve not doing anything with it? That's that's hard to answer because... Listen, I made, I made like an entire video about how the community has just kind of kept the game alive. Mm -hmm. And obviously, that is still, that still rings true. Mm -hmm. Um, but the community can only do so much sure. with, with no, like, blessing from Valve or whatever you want to call it. And it sucks because TF2 can absolutely be transferred into a completely different game. The IP, you mean, the characters. The IP, yeah, the yeah, characters. Yeah, yeah. Because, uh, in my opinion, the characters are, at the very least, half of the game. Oh, more than that, definitely. Way more than that. Yeah. Like, to me, the characters and the lore and the stupid-ass humor is what brought me into the game. It wasn't the gameplay. Mm. I actually hated first-person shooters before I got into this game. Okay, that's fair. Anyone else pushing this thing? That's interesting. Yeah, I mean... I think the way that Valve works, it seems as if silence is more of a support than we probably give it credit, given how Nintendo reacts to community projects and things, you know? Uh, I, yeah, I mean, Nintendo is kind of in that special, we gotta protect our IPs, because mm. obviously when they've given out their IPs to people in the past, it hasn't gone well. That's true, that's true. So, <sighs> so what, okay, so... You know, we we discussed your favorite games. We discussed, you know, what you consider to be the games that define you as a gamer. Gamer. What, do, do, what, if you were to pick a company that you like more than any of the other game development studios, which studio would you end up choosing? Game development studio specifically? So, uh, no, uh, not studio, but like, I guess based on what you were saying, would it be a Valve or would it be Nintendo? that you like more? Ugh. Oh god. I, I would I would base this off of my personal experience and enjoyment of their games, but the problem is there's a very big dis discrepancy between the <laughs> amount of games of each studio, so... Yeah. <laughs> like... Yeah. I can't, I can't say Nintendo because I like more of their games. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't like all of... How many fucking franchises do they have? Like... 40 active ones, yeah. Active ones. Um, they're both like super high quality mm. in terms of who they hire. And I know Valve is super stingy yes. on stuff like that, but I, also considering, you know, majority of Nintendo is in Japan. Mm -hmm. I don't know, Japanese language barrier is really bad. That's true. I guess true. Valve, but I am unfortunately okay at least as of right now in my time and experience, mm. not Valve material. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, 
if, if if your ultimate goal is to work at somewhere at Valve, somewhere like Valve, then you unfortunately have. I'm gonna Long get political word. here. Political alarm. You unfortunately have a much harder chance of getting in than yeah. most people. Um, there's like five women at Valve out of 355 people. Um, and that's something that they recently claims they wanted to fix, but I can assure you that is not something that would ever get fixed. Um, and I have uh, I have known accounts, uh, three different known accounts where women were fired because they were too quote unquote bossy. Um, well, at least I wouldn't be that. <laughs> <laughs> I am the complete opposite of that in terms of a work environment. Yeah. Um, Valve is a bit problematic as a company to work towards, and I don't. I've been trying to warn people lately that working at Valve is not all that it's cracked up to be, especially lately. You know? I um, mean, I definitely, like, don't have any intentions of making that my life goal. Sure, 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 sure. Because, like, yeah, I, I very, very much enjoy the products they put out. But yes, yes, yes. I also wouldn't want that ruined for me, if that makes it sense. I complete, yeah, I am in that same exact boat, and yeah. things have been ruined for me quite dramatically as I've learned more and more about how, how they end up making the kinds of products that they do. You the know. thing is, aside from, you know, Valve kind of having their... Wow, I'm doing horribly. Um, <laughs> kind of doing uh, their whole thing of just dropping products out of the blue, or, yeah, yes. projects out of the blue. Yes. Because um, that does seem to be something that's really specific to them. Um, unfortunately, I think this is just an industry issue. Oh, like, the, the, the sexism. Yeah. Well, sexism and just in general poor working environments and compensation yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I would say that. You know, you went to school for that shit, so that puts you ahead of many yeah. other people. And um, even if you were to apply to Valve, um, and you had a penis, um, they would Darn. They, yeah, I know, right? Um, they would still turn you down because nine times out of ten, when a person under the age of thirty applies at Valve, they tell you, "Okay, well, apply back in ten years." Unless After you're the portal team. Unless, <laughs> unless you're the portal team. Unless you just came out of uh, of uh, DigiPen and you created a really cool senior project. Yes. Shout out to Jeep Barnett, my man. Shout out to Jeep Barnett, my man. Uh, but also shout outs to Kim what? Swift, who was fired. It's about to rain at work. I sent you a picture of the See, I would also work. assume that. Also ask Skyman, who her favorite brain just died. Shoot. Is. Valve. Loves her pain. Uh, yes. I would also assume that, like a lot of workplaces, um, Valve would want their employees to be incredibly well-rounded. Yes, yes, so, very much so. So, for instance, my degree is in interactive design. Mm -hmm. So that's user interface design uh, with the user's experience solely in mind. Uh, okay. As I'm coming to find out when attempting to get a full-time job, they, they, a lot of people generally want you to be able to completely make everything you design, yes. which means coding everything. Yes. Uh, and I know Valve would be no different if not more, more so. requirements. Very much so. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't code. Don't, don't make me code. I can barely <laughs> HTML. <laughs> there are situations where you would be hired as a designer, and, and many people that work as, under that idea or that identity aren't expected to program, you know? I mean, see, I'm also not an illustrator. No, that's not what I mean by designer. Designer is somebody that goes around and, and just thinks, you know, the concept thinks of the ideas things. guy. Yeah. The Steve Jobs of the situation. <laughs> that that exists. Yeah. See, that that see, like Miyamoto doesn't fucking program. You can me? It's like I feel that. like he's probably learned over the years. Nowadays, sure. But he was hired as an artist, and he kind of yeah. stayed in that field for quite a long time. Uh, Xmage point mask in the chat if you want to buy uh, something that makes it look like you're missing your mouth texture. Anyways, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm always trying to get more people to work within the industry while also trying to keep them like realistic with their expectations on things because a lot of people <laughs> that want to work at Valve are just like, I'm gonna make TF3, yeah! It's not gonna happen, it's just like, not, come yeah. on, guys. Um, For me personally, like, realistically, I like to do something in a video game company. Yeah. Um, I'm a little limited here in Georgia. Yes. Uh, and I would personally really not like to work for who makes Paladins? High res I would yeah. not like to work for high res I have not heard good things from them. Neither have I, unfortunately. Yeah. 
like um somebody was asking okay so what happened with kim swift is uh following the release of the orange box um and portal the game that she almost entirely designed herself and other people programmed for her um people were coming up with different concepts in the science fair and you ended up with things like margarita f stop two bots one wrench etc and she came up with a concept called time that gabe newell loved so she started developing it with a team until gabe newell walked in the room and said you're either done working on this or you're done working here and they fired her and claimed that she was yeah gotta gotta love game development industries yeah furs it's great fuck you Gabe Newell <laughs> I have so many stories of Gabe just walking into a room and being like yeah okay so uh you're all gone bye leave you're done I mean he's got the money to do it and that's yes. for damn yeah, he's, sure he's got fuck you money I know I hate living in Kansas. I hate living in Ohio. You have to live in like Seattle or LA or, or fucking London or that's it. Yeah. Atlanta's getting there. Maybe not for games, but it's getting there. All right, happy time, happy happy thoughts, happy thoughts. What's your favorite candy? Uh, I like gummies. I'm a, I'm a gummy person. I have a bag of Haribo Golden Bears on my desk right now. See, for some reason, I don't like Haribo. Really? Why is that? Yeah. I my game crashed. <gasps> no, it didn't. No, it didn't. You should submit a bug report to Valve. They'll get it next update. Oh yeah, they'll, they'll totally see it. Like <laughs> just like they see. How did you enjoy your casual match? <laughs> Do you know what the purpose of that was? Honestly, no, because I assumed it was just to try and get people off their back. Yeah, it it's nothing. It's literally yeah. nothing. It's it's like. It's theater. It's it's making people think that they're like what like, what kind of fucking information are they gonna get from that? You know, it's like oh, we don't like this map. We'll take it out of the pool. <laughs> that, that's about all I can think of. Do you remember competitive CTF? Did you ever get to play an official? Oh. Do you remember that? Oh yeah. <laughs> it was it was the worst thing. It. <laughs> I think most if I remember, uh, nine out of ten. It, I'm obviously overinflating because I did not sure. play 10 games of competitive CTF. <laughs> uh, people just automatically left. Like, someone was like, yes. I'm going to take one for the team. Bye. No one wants to play this. Yeah. We're closing the server. Fucking Valve. Jesus Christ. They Why? spent. I, CTF. Uh, I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, that's the. That's, when I think of competitive TF2, I think of fucking Turbine. I, I assume you've actually seen, like, what was it, 2007 or 2008 competitive TF2 on CTF? Mm. Or on a two fort? Mm, I have. It is. Yeah. It is something. Well, I mean, like, I think the I think the original mindset was like, well, back in the Quake days, everybody loved CTF, and it's like, yeah, I guess. But, but CTF <laughs> sucks now. The game developed away from a CTF yeah. format and that sort of uh, map design. Back back in those days, we all had we all had grappling hooks. You doofuses. You'd fucking shitheads. What? I have run with scissors the postal devs balanced. in Tucson and Rainbow Studios like, a division It's a THQ stupid in concept and yeah. it's fun, but it yeah. is the most unbalanced piece of garbage. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. you how long have you been playing? when did you when did you start playing TF2? Like what was your introduction? Um on a Mac. On a Mac. Well, I mean, that's not, that's not really <laughs> what I mean, but like. So um, I, I started, I think, seriously playing shortly after Man vs. Machine came out. Okay. I think. So that's August. Uh, I completely missed that update, but. Okay. So post August 2012. Um, yeah, so then you got to experience the medic update. Oh, wait, no, medic update nope. was before that. Pyro I didn't get that or Pyromania. Nope, I didn't get Pyromania. Oh. Ooh. Wait, was I did not experience before that? It. I don't remember. Uh, it was either before or I wasn't actively playing at that time. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, you're right. Pyromania was right before it. You had Pyromania yeah. in the summer in like July, June or July. Yeah. So then I missed you... the good updates. <laughs> yeah. I think you got two. You obviously got two cities. Two cities is actually my favorite update. Really? Big MVM mm -hmm. fan. Okay. Uh, yeah, MVM's actually my favorite mode. Uh, I don't play it as much as I used to because. 
yeah. It gets boring so, after a while, yeah. It does. As much as I love Man vs. Machine, you can only play the same wave, yeah. the same mission so yeah. many times. Have you played the potato stuff at all lately? Uh, lately, no, but I played the shit. Was it Titanium Tanks was the first mm -hmm. one? I played a ton of Titanium Tank, and then I played a fair bit of the next one. Canteen Crasher, I think? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, uh, just, uh, you know, just, uh, hunt your horses. There might be, uh, something, something coming soon, you know? There's something, something, something real cool, you know? Just, just... Only I could convince friends to play this game. <laughs> um, but every time I'm like, hey, you want to play TF2? Don't worry, if you don't want to play TF2, I completely understand. Well, I mean, you're not selling it that well, are you? telling people no <laughs> not gonna lie I, I honestly don't sell tf2 to people I'd be um, like hey it's a great game but uh yeah yeah you don't have to play it i mean i play it all the time and i don't have any friends i mean i guess i do i'm valve news network so i guess i could find people to play with but um yeah i don't know oh by the way i asked skyman to make tf2 videos on vnn for us and uh I don't know if she's interested, but I just announced it publicly. Um, so thanks. <laughs> you're peer pressuring me here, bud. Um, no, it's like so. You know how today was fucking insanity. I mean, we talked about this when I pitched it to you about how like eight thousand things happen at once, and then you have a month of silence. Today would have been the perfect day to have like a group of people in an office, man. I'm, just be like, hey, yeah. I can't do all this Nintendo shit alone. Help me out. And yeah, Bogus helps me out with VR and, and testing things. Anger helps me out with uh, Dota 2 and Underlords and Artifact. Oh, do you like Artifact? You a big fan of Artifact? I have very, very <laughs> negative feelings on Artifact. You don't want me to get into that rant. I've gotten into it many times on stream. No, I want to hear it. I really want it. So I'm a huge Artifact fan, right? But I completely understand. I, I, like, look, I have been attempting to make apologetic artifact content for, like, two years now, right? And I was pretty decent friends with the original director of the game who left Valve recently. And now that it's back with a completely different group of people I'm completely unfamiliar with, you know, I'm trying to, like, get back into it, but whenever you make a video about it, all the comments are like, Oh, it's the, the Debbie update died for this. <laughs> <laughs> you like, not just the heavy update, but no. probably a lot more stuff. Uh, many other things. Um, but yeah, no, I'd love to hear, like, let's, let's rant. Let's do it. Why does I'll, artifact I'll, suck? <laughs> I'll, I'll try to, like, not go into a 30-minute rant about it, because that just ends up in me ranting further about Valve instead of Girl, just artifact. Girl. But where do you think you're at? This is the perfect Fair. place. So the reason I don't like Artifact, uh, I'll, I'll start off with the biases that have like zero grounds to mm, them. Mm, okay. I don't like card games. Okay. I, I am personally got off like card games and I just, I'm not a fan of them. Um, I never have been and I probably never will be. So right off the bat, Artifact's not my type of game, regardless of its reputation and yeah. Yes, yes. Now, in terms of the stuff that, you know, actually has some backing behind it and is not just my horrible opinion. Not horrible, you're a human, come on. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to figure out, like, in what order to talk about this in. Mm -hmm. um, Artifact, right off the bat, was announced at a very piss poor time. Yes. Very, very poorly. I don't know why they mm -hmm. thought good on him for getting that mark garden didn't see him um i don't know why they thought that after what at least five years of no new game and everyone was really wanting the next valve game valve game after dota 2 came out after csgo right yeah but they were in beta for so long that it doesn't yeah. even really count yeah it was it was seven years since the previous game yes yeah like people were really wanting a new first party a valve game, game. game yeah an actual yes. game yes. Like Left 4 Dead 3 or Portal 3. Another, ca another Counter Strike, I don't know. Any of the threes. Yeah. Like the reaction, of course, the infamous reaction to the <laughs> announcement at the Invitational. Yes. That pretty much sums everything up. It was announced at a god awful time. Yes. And aside from, you know, the really, really bad 
monetization model that they came mm-hmm. out with on release, that that just kind of solidified its death. It, it had no chance because of that. Okay. Now, I am I am not versed in card games whatsoever. Mm-hmm. Um, but I of what little I know about it, uh, it definitely is not a bad game as a card game. Nope. Monetization aside, not con- not considering that it's you are it's a good game. Yes. And I think it could have done very well if one, they had tweaked the monetization, and two, what? They didn't Screen announce it general, when they did, and they announced it the after a industry. major game, like mm-hmm. maybe mm-hmm. after Half Life Alex yeah. or something. This is the only other game we've gotten. Yes. Um, so I think they just really screwed it over, and it, it kind of just shows how out of touch with their own communities mm-hmm. they are. I agree with everything you're saying so far. That's kind of my uh, shtick on Artifact. And uh, yeah, I don't like Artifact. (laughs) But I also don't like Dota, so I'm pretty biased here. So one of the reasons why we kept seeing, to clue you in as to why it happened, right? Mm -hmm. Artifact was created by Magic Gathering creator Richard Garfield. Yeah. um, Notorious for being a bit of an egotistical control freak. Um, I mean, he created Magic the Gathering, I, I get it. Yes, yes, a uh, bit of an ego there. Um, he came in with an almost complete vision for what ended up becoming Artifact. And like you said, credit where credit is due, the fundamentals of the game are really, really strong if oh, yeah. you're into card games. It, well, it, I, like, I'm not even into card games, and I I recognize that you it is fundamentally, that. yeah. Yes. Um, it's a bit complex, however, the complaints over the complexity are a bit overblown, and the true problem it's is the monetization. That is yeah. that is the issue there. Um, they, th- knew, they knew the monetization was fucked before they even shipped. It was a combination of Gabe Newell and Richard Garfield just kind of being like, no, fuck it, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. It'll it'll work. It'll Don't work. trust me, guys. Exactly. And they Well, they changed their tune fairly quickly, allowing you to earn packs like 2 weeks into the game. But like the amount that that you, that you could earn based on the amount of work you had to do to earn those packs was super super stingy. And it was too little too late. They had already formed a 2-year negative first impression. Um and yeah, it's just, it's a combination of, you're exactly right, ego, egotism, and more importantly, being completely and utterly out of touch, and within their, like, little Valve bubble, for so that one long. Definitely, yeah, that one definitely seems to be just a fundamental problem with Valve themselves. They, they don't oh, yes. talk, like, yes. for example, Blizzard is known for not exactly being great with community feedback. They either completely ignore it, or they take it way too close to heart and don't actually choose the best outcome for certain things. Okay. But they talk to their community is the thing. Yeah. Valve doesn't. Yeah. Absolutely Valve not. Valve just exists. Absolutely not. So, I was in a very unique position a few years ago when Valve straight up invited me to their offices to let me talk and ask any questions I wanted and shit. And... I got to talk to Dave Riller of the Team Fortress 2 team for like an hour and a half and record the whole conversation and, you know, it was like the best day of my life. But that (laughs) conversation very quickly made me realize that even the super friendly down-to-earth people are so far, I'm not going to say up their ass, in the bubble that they're completely unaware of what the community actually wants, what the community actually enjoys. Because Dave Riller straight up told me that the reason why what became Jungle Inferno was taking so long was because they thought the community's expectations for what an update needs to be has just grown so large over the years that it's almost yes. impossible to keep up with. And so his quote was like, well, you need multiple weapon sets and, and, a, and a short and comics and multiple cosmetic crates and skins and contracts and an update page and theming and new voice lines and new game modes. And I'm just over I just looked at him and was like, no, absolute no. If you just ship a weapon and a map every couple months, we'd be fine. Instead of... What the hell was the gap in weapons? Yeah, it was... Oh, weapons! Oh, God. 
the long because I know that was a huge yes. thing. People were just like, "Give yes. me a new weapon, just one. We don't care." So I think it was the mecha. Do you remember the mecha update? Yeah. Uh, yes. That was the one with like the big robot engineer. Yeah, yeah they yeah. shipped a weapon then. And then didn't ship another weapon until Love and War, which was summer 2014. So it was like a little over two years. Was that the one with the loose cannon? Loose cannon was Love and War, yes. Loose cannon, no. Iron Ball. Wait. No, loose cannon was an MVM update. Loose cannon, oh, vaccinator, loose cannon was and... the mecha update, yes. What was the third one? It was loose cannon, loose cannon vaccinator, vaccinator, and... and Babyface Blaster? I, wanna well, I don't say... think it was Babyface. Mecha was Rescue was... Ranger, Vaccinator, and Loose Cannon. That's it. Yep. Yes. Okay. Um, and then you and then you had like a two year gap until Love and War with like Tide Turner, Iron Bomber. Uh, and then we got skins. Backscatter. Yeah, and then you got skins, which skin. I thought was okay. You know, it's okay. It's not a substitute. That's the problem. No, no, it, It's all. a nice addition. No. There's some nice skins, but yeah. Um, and now we're not even getting those. <laughs> now we're not even getting those. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, it's so. And then there was another gap uh, between Meet Your Match didn't have weapons. It just had a lot of, of changes. So were there weapons in Jungle Inferno was the last one, but I mean, yes. that was Jungle Inferno. But before Jungle Inferno, was it Love and War? I think so. Yes, Love and War was expiration, right? Yes. And expiration came with Tide Turner, Base Jumper. Backscatter, um, Iron Bomber. And the classic. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, oh, the, wait, End of the Line introduced a weapon? No, no, End of the Line did not introduce a weapon. They teased it. They said they were going to, and then and they did And then didn't. they put it in the next winter yeah. update. Yeah. Because Valve sucks. Um, uh, the only weapon that was in end of the line was the crossroad cross thing yeah. yeah crossing guard and that's you know yeah so i guess it was between love and war and fucking jungle inferno where the where, where, that's a four year three year gap yeah holy shit at least we had custom weapons wow i didn't even think of that yeah tell us man more about imagine the... i'm sorry huh? go, ahead. go ahead imagine if this game was not moddable it this really would've died. Isn't. It would have died. It really isn't, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. What we're doing is written in, in uh, a Lua source mod, which is a... It's third party. It's all mm -hmm. done server side. Valve does not support the kinds of systems that we're using to make this shit work, so... Yeesh. Yeah. Thanks, Valve! Jesus, I love you, but... I mean, but... it's also how old, like, the systems... Oh, yeah. It's Source Engine. Yeah, you're right. It's yep. like over 20 years. You're right. Yeah. Oh, we're going to Databank. Have you played Databank before? Mm -mm. This map fucking rocks. This map I'm, is I'm awesome. I'm pretty out of the loop on all these maps. <laughs> Shout outs to Ibohars. This is her map. Um, yeah, this map's beautiful. Really, really great. Smith Smith 2014 had Iron Bomber, Quickie Bomb, Panic Attack. You're right. You're right. Is that after? Yeah, okay, so that was after Love and War. You had Iron Bomber, Quickie Bomb, and mm. Panic Attack. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. You're right. So it was between Smith Smith 2014 and Jungle Inferno, which was October 2017. Yeah. Can't believe Jungle Inferno was that long ago, though. Oh, good God. We're all getting old. We're all going to die. Jesus, eat curry rice and fish and chips while you can. What's your favorite food? Curry rice is my favorite food, yeah. I eat, I eat a ton of different foods. Favorite. Uh, First one that comes to mind. Don't even think. Favorite. Sushi? Yeah. Sushi. Like, real sushi. Yes. Not not that cream cheese garbage in my Philadelphia roll. <laughs> Give me some raw salmon. Is salmon your favorite? Put... Yeah, I like salmon a lot. Okay. I like tuna. Good fatty tuna is my favorite. Fatty tuna is really good. I think in Japanese they call it like chutoro or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, curry rice is my fucking favorite food. Sushi's your favorite food. A little bit of a Japanese kick, build Japanese flair in our diets. Hell yeah. I'd like to just preemptively point out I am not Japanese. Just okay. preemptively. Do you get that a lot? Do you get that question a lot? Uh, over the years, it's actually died down. It used to be a lot of, are you Japanese or are you Chinese? Uh, of which I am technically <laughs> neither. I'm God half Taiwanese. 
It's not like there are other fucking countries. Okay. Nah, that's only Japan and China. No other Asian countries exist. Good job, American school system, and also racists. I live in Georgia, so, <laughs> you know. Were you born in Georgia? I was born in Florida, but I spent a lot of time growing up in California, mm. so. Oh, really? Yeah. What, what, did you like California better than Georgia? Yes. But I also, where I'm living currently isn't where I spent most of my time in Georgia, and hmm. it's better. What? Um, okay. The place Scum, I spent most of my time. Time. I hate it, everyone. <laughs> but I feel like, you know, looking back on high school, you're gonna yeah. hate everyone you go to high school with. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, the successful people will, yeah. Because <laughs> otherwise you're peaking, and then there's nothing left for you. I didn't hate everyone I went to high school with, but I did, I did hate... I mean, I didn't hate my English teacher. Oh, okay, like the teachers. Yeah. You know, they're going to be hit or miss depending yeah. on if they're complete dickwads or not. If but... they care about their job. Yeah. yeah. Which, I mean, I don't completely blame based on how much we fucking pay teachers. Oh my god, my, my, my biology teacher had a second job selling candles, poor guy. At least it was selling something and not going into Burger King at one not, in the yeah, morning. Yeah, that's true, but still you know um yeah I, I born in ohio raised in ohio never been to california um love to go okay least favorite food don't even think about it go ironically country food country in food. general what fried foods oh like chicken like fried like fried steak. Oh, okay all right okay i don't like if that i want to enjoy fried chicken i gotta be in the mood for it it's heavy. It's heavy on the stomach. You're gonna feel bad the rest of the day. I get that. Yeah. Just the grease pouring out yeah. of your pores. <laughs> Not good for skincare, I guess. Um, yeah, my least favorite food ever would be... See, I shouldn't even think about it. And I was gonna say broccoli, but I love broccoli. And I think it's just because, like, little kids will say broccoli because they're little kids. Um, Have you ever tried Vegemite? No, I haven't, but I'm sure I fucking hate it. I, I you'll probably hate it. Do you it's, like it? It no, it is the worst food I have ever eaten. <laughs> like hands down, and I've eaten a lot of different foods. Do we have any Aussies in the chat that want to fucking murder uh, what <laughs> she's saying right now? I don't know why people like it. It's like fermented yeast. I think that is. Isn't is that really yeah, what it it's, is? It's oh, fermented goodness. yeast, if I remember correctly. It Ugh. is bad. It's very bad. I don't even know what my least favorite food is. I'm, I, I just I'm, I, I eat terribly. Probably vegetables, but I like some. <laughs> love carrots. Love broccoli. Love spinach. Love kale. Um, I saw like a good comment saying that the reason why kids, a lot of kids, don't like vegetables is because their parents don't know how the hell to cook a vegetable. Completely agree. Completely yeah. one hundred. My parents. Neither of them could cook to save their fucking life. <laughs> Electra is like a master chef, like in in hiding. Like she gave me broccoli once, and I'm like, I fucking hate broccoli. And she's like, just eat it, or I'm gonna fucking punch you. I'm like, okay. She that, that was a joke. She's not abusive. Um, so I ate it, and I was like, oh, wait, what? Wait, what? Wait a minute. Wait. Yeah, like, well, I think anyone, like, anyone that actually knows how to cook food can make anything good. Exactly. I agree. Like, if you, if you hate, like, I don't know, a carrot. Carrots are great. I don't off, know. But sure. Like, I agree. You, you get it steamed just right, put yeah. some, uh, put some spices on it, you'll probably enjoy That's it. That's the big thing. Spices don't really add many calories, but they completely change yeah. what the food is. I'm an Aussie and Vegemite's shit. Oh, okay. There you go. What is my least favorite food? My God, I'm blanking. I've been just been, you know, during the quarantine, the thing that I've been doing to pass the time is I'm importing a lot of like random instant foods from different countries. Oh, like one of those like monthly boxes? Cause I know there's some Japanese ones. No, I mean, I'm not just focusing on Japanese. I've been eating a lot of Italian and French foods. I mean, obviously what? I have yeah. What is instant fr uh, French and Italian? Have you ever had chocolate bread? No. Oh my god, it's amazing. There's, it's, it's like a French, it's like a French dessert thing. Well, actually, no, they eat it for breakfast. But they have chocolate bread, 
and it's a it's exactly what you think it is it's chocolate bread it's amazing and in Italy, they have this instant pizza stuff that isn't frozen, but it's still instant. And it's not American pizza. It's like, it's like diced tomato. It's kind of like bruschetta, really. Yeah. But it's like freeze dried and stuff. So good. So fucking good. And then, of course, I discovered instant Japanese curry recently. Oh, yeah. And it's my absolute favorite food in the history of the world. Oh, my Oh my god. Most oh. instant Japanese foods are actually really amazing. good. Amazing. Yeah. They care about that shit. They really put effort into that. It's amazing. It's Japan. Yeah. They know how so to live. You're gonna think I'm a horrible person, but yeah. I actually don't really like pizza. Oh, that's fine. My brother hates pizza and, and my cousins hate pizza. I never really oh. ate much pizza around my family growing oh, it's not it's a total lie. But my brother it's like, my, yeah. Everyone thinks pizza is like this. God sent piece of food that you mm. just you can eat a lot. Uh, I don't. It doesn't help that I don't like red sauces that much. Really? Yeah. So when I get oh. pizza, I like to get white sauces or oils. Okay. Red. Like I'll eat a lot oh, of stuff, uh. and I will definitely eat it if need be. But if I have a choice, I don't want to eat tomatoes. Really? Mhm. Mm wow. Okay. Yeah. This is the first thing I've really disagreed with you on so far. Most people disagree with me on that, don't worry. No, I mean, not necessarily pizza. As I've gotten older, I've eaten significantly less of it, and I realize <laughs> it's just a grease trap that's horrific for you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Especially, like, Papa John's, yes, Domino's, exactly. that stuff. Yes, um, But um, my last name may be McVicker, but that's because my grandfather had to change his name from Vizano to get a job back when, I guess, people didn't like Italians. Um, and, yeah. Uh, if I if I didn't have my weekly pasta, I'd fucking I'd die, man. I, I, oh. oh no, I love pasta. It's my go-to. I lived off of it in college. I know, but you don't like red sauce, though. Like I do butter yeah. and cream sauces. Uh, I guess Alfredo's fine, but like my grandmother, who's like a stereotypical old ass Italian woman. Um, yeah, I live on her spaghetti sauce, man. She'll, like, make big vats of it and freeze it, and I ha always have some on hand. Hell yeah. See, like, marinara and just red sauces in general are things I have to crave. Sure. If not, I'll probably take an alternative. Sure. But I'll okay. still eat it if it's the only thing. Okay. So you're not a super picky individual. I am very much so not a picky thing. The, the okay. like, one thing that comes off the top of my head that I will just pick out of everything are probably olives. Fuck olives. Mushrooms. Mushrooms. That's my least favorite food. Mushrooms. Ah, I love mushrooms. But here's the thing. Do you hate all mushrooms or specifically portobello and baby bello? Whichever. I, I, I don't know. I have eaten mushrooms a few times in my life and did not like them. I Is it a texture? I, it w I haven't read a book on mushrooms in the, in the meantime. I don't know. This was many well, years ago. So I probably would be okay with mushrooms now. This well, is... is it like the taste you don't like? I think so. I was like so, eight. That's the thing with mushrooms. Um, mushrooms have many different variations resulting in many, many different types of taste. So in my personal opinion, the most common ones uh, that like everyone uses, which is like portobello or white cat mushrooms, they're the blandest. They okay. don't taste great. Okay. Um, but there are many other types of mushrooms that taste a lot better, basically. They, they actually have flavor. Learn more about on Skyman's next video, the epidemiology of mushrooms. Can't wait. <laughs> Why the hell are we talking about mushrooms? <laughs> this, this is what happens when you live stream. Once you get past the hour mark, it doesn't matter. You're done this talking is whatever about the, the hell topic. you come up with. Yeah, yeah. You are in a master class of verbal diarrhea, my friend. This is my life. Um, when did you start streaming? Um, probably not too long after I started doing YouTube. Okay. Maybe, maybe like a year later. I don't know. I stopped streaming for quite a while and then I mm -hmm. got back into it and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Okay. Okay. But don't worry. People only want to watch me play TF2. Uh, yeah. Me too. Great. Me too. Um, now they don't want to watch me play some shitty shovelware game. Do you do that? Do you enjoy shovelware shit? Is that? Is oh, that... it's fun to stream. <laughs> especially if it's a game you have not played. It yes. is. It's great just to see yeah. the experience 
that these developers have given you. <laughs> developers. If you want to call them that, sure. They, they crank shit out because there's some money. Ask her what's her opinion on VR. She just put up a VR video. Go watch it. <laughs> It's bad. I didn't understand how uh, FOV works in terms of what you people see. Yeah, well, um, oh. it's a good video. She's very bad at selling herself. I, I, <laughs> a, a quality uh, a content creator kind of needs to have to be successful. We're gonna get. It's a it's a it's a personal uh, yeah. quarrel that I have that. Uh, I won't get into it because it's too personal. We will eventually, uh, there's this, my Electra, you know, studied psychology for many years. Uh, yeah. And there's a, there is a, a form of therapy called uh, immersion therapy, where you make a person face their fear many, mm -hmm. many times until they're numb to it. So. Oh, I have to do that. I am going, Unfortunately. Yeah, I'm going to force you to sell yourself. Oh, that sounds fucking horrible. Yeah, that does, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be the next Belle Delphine, don't worry. <laughs> Instead of gamer girl bathwater, you'll get gamer girl toilet I'm going, water. I'm going to force you to sell your content, the, the quality of it, until, you know, it's not such a cringy activity. Because you need to succeed. You have the potential. We've talked about this. You have the fucking potential. Just tell people your videos are good. Be like, hey, hey I'm Skyman. My videos are good. Say it, say it. Or I'm kicking you off the stream right now. My videos are good. There you go. Okay. There See, go. I've been having to do that in the uh, frantic attempt to get a job. And every time <laughs> I mention my YouTube channel, a part of me dies inside. Yeah, so I have a <clears throat> YouTube channel. Um, yeah, check it out. It's Sky. Please don't type it in. Not in front of me. Now, now, before anyone thinks like I'm just that annoying person who's shoving their YouTube channel, mm. the reason I have to talk about my channel is because it actually directly relates to my skills yes. that I would be doing for the job. Yes. And it's essentially a giant ass portfolio. I really need to get a demo reel together for people who don't want to watch a 24 minute <laughs> video about me ranting about eight men in a pyro, but you know. Do you believe Pyro is female? I try not to like think. I wouldn't be surprised, but I feel like because they made the classic Pyro female, they wouldn't do that for uh, TF2's Pyro. Okay. Okay. Do you think maybe um, this, the the um, the Pyro is human? We did have invasion, but that was a community. Yes, do you remember yeah. they hyped Invasion by putting a, a, a uh, what was it? It was like an x-ray of the pyro's head, where it showed it was like this weird alien creature. Yeah. Yeah, but that was a community thing. Was it, was yeah. it for Invasion? Yeah, okay. it, well, uh, one of the original hype pieces for Invasion, which was a year before the update came out, which was like... Uh, was Wasn't one that also a poster? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. it was. You're I think right. it was a printable poster because I remember seeing it on the Valve store. Um, God knows when. That's all gone. Oh, don't fucking remind me. I scour eBay for original Valve store merch every couple days. I would love that Meet the Medic lithograph, but I've, I'm oh. stuck with the sniper one. I've only got the sniper one. I found it on eBay once for a thousand dollars. Thousand? Yeah. Not, not yeah. worth it. It sold. I'll go print it myself. It sold. So, Jesus. I don't know. Yeah, TF2 fans, man. TF2 fans. Hey, I'm just glad I got those spy crabs before they sold out. Oh, you have them? Really? Yeah, I've got the two spy crabs. <laughs> I have the, the the dispenser. I have the... Uh... I've got that too, yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And uh, Yeah, I mean, I've got very few... In I, I have the inflatable balloonicorn, you know, that you saw that. Uh, yeah, I don't have a whole lot in terms of TF2. I have a lot of Half-Life and Portal merch. Yeah. Valve has that big-ass balloonicorn that you can crawl into. I, I started getting money after they started, or after they stopped really making TF2 stuff. Mm, so, I feel probably that. a good thing. I yeah. would have bought all those lithograph posters. <laughs> you would have wasted your money. Yeah. I don't even want to know how much money I've wasted on convention posters, considering I counted recently and I've got over 120 posters. 
Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Yeah, oh I don't buy t-shirts when I go to cons. I buy, uh, fan art. Wow, 120. I thought I was bad. Do you remember Club Nintendo? Yeah. That, 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 yeah. I, 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 um. I've got those posts. I've got the Smash 4 posters and the Zelda collection. Oh, which one. set? Which, there were two Smash there 4 were two? sets. Yeah. See, okay, exactly. There so were the two. Second, the second set was only up for one week. What the and hell? And it's the better set. It's impossible. I have every single Club Nintendo poster ever released, except that fucking set. Because it what showed was up, that set? It was this amazing, like, like an NES box art for Duck Hunt, but it, it was remade with like the the Smash Brothers Duck Hunt dog and stuff. Oh, it was so cool! And there's like two yeah, other yeah, ones. I don't that, have that. No, yeah, it's amazing. It showed up on eBay once for six hundred dollars and sold oh. immediately. How is that cheaper than the Meet the Metaclithograph? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Is TF2 better than Nintendo stuff? Uh, maybe. Probably not. Popularity. Grill off with Ultra Hand. Hell yeah. That game is ass. God. <laughs> they tried how long to sell that stupid game? The whole time. The whole time. Yeah. Yes. Up until its death. Yes. I have. I, I yeah. I collect. I collect Club Nintendo bullshit too. Yeah. I got a bunch of it. Um. I. I have the the uh, greeting cards. I have the. Uh, uh, I have the pin set, but I think half oh, the, of them might be the Mario the, the, pin set. Yeah, yeah. I, I have, think half of them might be gone because I <laughs> used them on a backpack. I have that. I have all of the yearly calendars they put out. So I just have these sealed like 2008, 2009 calendars. Okay. Yeah, and they put out that Doc Lewis Punch Out thing, but that was only for if you had gold status that one year. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you know what it is. No one ever knows think, the fuck I'm talking about with that. I think I've only got, I only got a few years of gold status because I, I got into the program pretty damn late. Oh, okay. Um, I think the first thing I got was the pin set, if that's a good frame of reference. That's pretty early. That that was that would have yeah. been like 09. What was? I don't remember what the gold stuff was. I know there were a few years that I slacked on, you know, yeah. buying my Nintendo products. <laughs> Um, and I know, like, in the last year or two, I didn't get it because I just wasn't paying attention and they mm -hmm. weren't putting good things out. Yeah. Yeah, there was one year they had that nice Mario statue. I got. I didn't get that. I hate it. I, I, I was so that. close. I was 10 away. Really? I was 10 coins away and I... I, 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 I was in middle school. I remember asking all of my friends just to give me their instruction manuals. And, like, and I, I collect, like, yeah, yes. I know when uh, when I first realized Club Nintendo existed, I just went downstairs and got every single manual, and I just instantly got platinum. Me too. I did the exact same thing. No, that's hilarious. Yeah. Um, I have that Luigi's Mansion statue they put out. I have the Zelda tote bag. I have the I Zelda get any CD. Of them. Yeah. God, I want the statues. Statues are great. In Europe, they had a significantly better program. They had Mario Kart 7, like, actual metal statues for the different cups. Those oh, are, God, that sounds so cool. They're so fucking expensive. Oh, I, my that God. That doesn't surprise me. And then in Japan, of course, it's just so significantly better. You know. Japan gets all the good stuff. Yeah, like, like... They, they had this, like, really, really cool, like, exclusive, right when Wii Sports Resort came out, like, sky blue uh, Wii Remote and Nunchuck combo for, like, a thousand points or whatever. To this day, it's impossible. You can't get it. It's nowhere. Even if you go onto, like, that Yahoo uh, auction site that people in Japan seem to use a lot. N nowhere. Gone. I'm I'm so glad Nintendo decided to get rid of Club Nintendo and just give us two dollars <laughs> upon buying a sixty dollar game. <laughs> Thanks, Nintendo. I'm really gonna like this two dollar and seventy five cent for discount. The two dollars. I gave you sixty, you dickhead. I gave you sixty seven, sixty four, sixty four, whatever with tax. You shithead. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I'm gonna get Zelda Twilight Princess Picross. On a system you don't support anymore. Fuck! Yes, I got it. Yes, I played it. But I'm mad. 
Oh, man. Yahoo JP auctions, exactly, yeah. No, it's funny, because um, back before Nami went back to Japan, um, Nami was my translator for a while. We met in mm -hmm. college. She was an exchange student and got a job as a news anchor. We went to journalism school together. She was great. She moved back. Before she moved back, her and I used to compare and contrast our, like, Nintendo notes growing up, because she was a huge fucking Nintendo nerd. But, like, mm -hmm. being a, a Nintendo nerd in Japan and being a Nintendo nerd in America are very, very different experiences, you know? So listening to her not know who the fuck Ash Ketchum was while I was trying to explain something, and she's like, I forget what his name is in Japanese, but it's... It's like Satori or yeah, something. Yeah, it's completely, like, it, the sh like, <laughs> she's like, Ash? Yeah, Ash Ketchum. Ash Ketchup? They made that joke. <laughs> they made that joke, yes. She's like, that's a terrible name. I go, whatever the fuck you call him isn't right. Satoshi? Yeah, Satoshi. Satoshi, that's it. Fuck that. No, he's Ash Ketchum. Fuck you. Ash isn't Misty it Satoshi and Shigeru for yeah. Gary? Yes. Um, because it, I think it's because it's it's like based on the creator, like... Yeah, and then so Miyamoto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but like, she like made me watch an episode, you know, without the dub, which I had surprisingly never done before. And it's like, it doesn't have, I want to be the very best that no one ever was. <laughs> and I played her that song. She goes, this is a terrible song. I go, you can go <laughs> right to hell. I mean, as a song, it's, it is it's bad, not, it's not good. but yeah. like the nostalgia factor. I was just like, do you know what just the poker kinda. rap is? Do you guys have the poker rap? She's like, the what? <laughs> I'm like, the poker rap? She didn't. She was like, wow, you guys really fucking ruined Pokemon. <laughs> like, Gotta yeah. make it cool for them 90s kids. I, like, and now as an adult looking back on it, they kind of treated it pretty well in Japan. And we were just like, how do you market it? How do you market it? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, but like we were like comparing and we were trying to talk about Pokemon it was impossible because other than like Pikachu they all have different names and so we just had to like throw a picture up exactly we had to look it up on our phone and it's like that one that's Charizard no it is not what are you talking about <laughs> oh man but yeah she talked about like oh one of my favorite games growing up was Marvelous and other Treasure Island what it's for the Super Nintendo. Super Famicom, excuse me. What? It's like, yeah, Marvelous and Other Treasure Island. What the fuck are you talking about? And she shows me this game, and I'm like, oh my god, this never came out here. And then I bought it, it had an English translation patch and played it, and got very mad, because it's an amazing fucking game. And I'm like, oh wow, yeah, this is great. And she kept naming things that just never came out here. Ever. It's just, like, That's like, Japan. Yeah. And I'm like, well, do you like, uh, you know, do you like, uh, <laughs> Super Mario Galaxy? Yeah, I guess, but then you, because he's like, all these fucking games, she's, oh, man. Fuck. Nintendo, you, you, you make bad decisions sometimes. At least they seem to be getting a little better with localization. You, um, do you like Fire Emblem at all? Nope. Okay. Um, nope. Have you tried and failed? To, to get uh, into that? Well, I'm already not a huge fan of that sort of RPG like thing. Like the tactical where, Yeah, the bit, tactical. Yeah. The most fun I had was fucking the South Park, the Fractured. <laughs> and that's okay. because it, it's like super dumbed down. It's, of yeah. course, South Park, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I'm not a huge fan of that sort of gameplay okay. style and then i i was starting to get real irritated by the just amount of fire emblem games that were shoving at her yeah. face yeah there's a lot did, did so well and they're like all right we're just gonna keep pumping them out <laughs> yeah well i mean i love i kind of love yeah i've played them all um Okay, like, well, I feel like if it wasn't getting shoved in my face, I would have given it a chance. Sure, 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 sure. But, like, me and my buddy Garrett from high school, we, like, challenged ourselves to play through all the Japanese ones, like, on the Super Famicom and stuff. And that was a lot of fun. But, no, yeah, they did a piss-poor job localizing pretty much all of that shit. 
like they introduced you mean currently or originally? currently currently okay. the ones on the 3ds they like introduced weird side plots that were like kind of pseudo sexual and then like they introduced they know what sells no i know i know <laughs> and then like stuff with like grapes 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 what yeah like a character is like both terrified and sexually attracted to grapes and it's like it seems like it'd be a one-off joke but it's mentioned so much that it's almost like a main plot it's it like fucking grapes i'm like Isn't is this, this a t-rated game i don't i don't i don't fucking know but it's like i was just like is this really what they wrote in japan and i looked it up and it was like no noa just made up like in the european one there's no grapes they just made this shit up with the grapes so, um, I am unfortunately now imagining grapes as a sexual device, and I don't like it! <laughs> That's not what I want to picture. Um, grapes should not go in those holes. Oh, good God. <laughs> okay, I'm going to move on. Yeah, they've gotten better with the localization over the years. I do kind of, I kind of miss the whole, like, they used to have their own personality with it. Like, yeah. like 2002 to 2010, where it was like Nintendo Treehouse stuff, they were very, like, like tongue in cheek with everything and it's mm -hmm. just it seems like they've gotten very serious with things and one of the things that kind of boils me a bit is super mario odyssey's translation which seems like it wouldn't be that big a deal but the names of the lands are very like oh sand kingdom water kingdom Earthland, city luncheon kingdom well yeah i know but like in japan they were much more creatively named and stuff i guess i don't know yeah um, well, well, what were they like? What was the equivalent translation? I think the literal translation is like the frozen desert and um, the 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 jeweled pond and you know. Like, yeah, that's a lot better. A little more, you know. Uh, but they gotta uh, go with the consistency. Yeah, kingdom. yeah. The sand kingdom. Sure. You ruined my snack, Tyler. I was eating grapes. Well, I'm glad you're snacking healthy. <laughs> um, just remember, they don't go in those holes. Um, or they do? I mean, you, you do you. I'm not going to kink shame. Just, you know, you're an adult, I, I hope. Um, okay, just going to let that... Okay, just wanted to pause there. Wanted a little awkward pause. Because I had just died and the game went silent. Um, yeah, I mean, I love Nintendo. They, they, I, I stuck with them through the Wii U. I had a Wii U from day one because I was a dumbass. I still think the Wii U is a better system. It just had really shitty games. Than the Switch? Well, no, 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 not better than the Switch. God, no. I mean, I think it was a better system than what everyone says. Oh, sure, 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 sure. Like, I honestly really like the gamepad. Me too. It is expensive as hell to replace if you bust it or lose it. But did I think it was that? a really cool console. No, I did not. Oh, thank okay. God. Okay. It was something I was always always careful of because it was. Mm, mm. How much was it? 120 bucks. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm not paying half a console fee for a controller. <laughs> yeah, I remember when they first announced it, they said they were going to do multi gamepad games. And they didn't. They just did they not just utilize didn't. it. Yeah, they were like, oh, it's because the people would have to. Yeah, that's expensive. Well, it also didn't help that a lot of the games um, that weren't first party. It. They didn't utilize it because they were cross-platform games, yeah. so they couldn't design a function around it that, you Is this you know, a video of yours? No. It should be. It, it, sound, should it be. sounds like a video yeah. of yours. <laughs> Why the Wii U is not as bad as everyone thinks. <laughs> it's just um, 15 minutes of me frantically trying to have an opinion. So I guess if we're the same age, we were Wii U late 2012, so I was 15? Mm -hmm. I think, yeah. It was a high school thing. Yes, yes. Splatoon, Mario Maker, and uh, Pikmin 3, Nintendo Land. Nintendo Land is a lot more fun than it has any right to be. Nintendo Land is fucking awesome. What's your favorite mini game from Nintendo Land? Probably Luigi's That's Mansion. That's everybody's in terms favorite. Of That's my favorite. Luigi's yeah. Mansion. That one is so much fucking fun. I, I've had a lot of fun with Mario Run and the Animal Crossing one with friends too, mm -hmm. but the Luigi's Mansion one is is fun. I like. Um, I also like how there's that ninja game that all Americans were super confused about because nobody knows about. Because they didn't bring the, the series yeah. here. That, that, like, oh, it's a ninja. Eh. That one was fun, but yeah. it wasn't a multiplayer game. I think the, the, it's the multiplayer ones that really shine in that collection. Oh yeah. yeah. And that's what the game should have been like for the Wii U because yes. that was basically
basically a demo of what it could do, and nobody ever did anything with it. Yes. Yes. We just got a bunch of HDs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Marvelous 101. Well, I mean, that's the wonderful 101, and they brought that to PCs, even. Yeah. That, that was, like, my last thing of, like, you guys need to get that and, like, Pikmin 3. Yeah. But wonderful 101 is on PC now. Just yeah. play the PC it's, version, it's I guess. great ass game. Really good ass game. Well, I mean, the single player for Splatoon One's actually really good. I think. Um, Bad. Wow, I don't remember which one was one and which one was two. They're 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 pretty. It's like the same game, just different levels. Exactly. Yeah. Um, Splatoon One. Um, I don't know. It was just the novelty of it. I don't know. I had a lot of fun. It's very short. Um, but I always thought it was stupid that they never had split screen multiplayer. No, Splatoon. yeah, no, no, no. The Splatoon uh, local multiplayer is horrendous. It is the absolute worst. In Split... Like, I, I haven't played it. Is this 2 you're talking about? Um, I don't... No, I don't think so, because 1 has the balloon map. Oh, that's right! It's... I don't know what was with, like, the Wii U and Nintendo's attempted local multiplayer. Mm. But Mario Kart was also god awful. It was really bad. Yeah. I don't know why they thought that was a good idea. You're talking about the the, the replacement for the battle mode, right? Yes. Mm. In Splatoon One, if you wanted to play local multiplayer, you couldn't play a normal match. You had mm -hmm. to play balloon battle versus each other. It was mm -hmm. weird. What other games were worth it on there? Mario Party Ten's ass. The yeah. Kirby games are right. The one where you had to draw. Like the. How did that you? It was Rainbow Curse. Yeah. Was my, yeah, because Canvas Curse is the DS one. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh oh oh Yoshi's Woolly World is so much better than Yoshi's Crafted World by like such an enormous margin. It's absurd. Um. Ported yet has it. No, and it probably never will be because it would take over. Like Crafted World was supposed to be like a sequel to that. But, yeah. like, they wrote, like, four songs for it, and there's, like, ten levels, but they make you replay them over and over again in Crafted World. Yoshi's Woolly World has such an amazing soundtrack. Oh, my God. I still go back and play that. Oh, that game's so good. And the little yarn amiibos. How many amiibos do you own? Fifteen to twenty at the high end? Okay. Cool. I paid seventy dollars for Rosalina. I don't know why I did. <laughs> well, you got caught up in the same hype we all did. You're, it's all right. No, yeah, I own all of them. Um, Christ. Yeah. Um, How much money that? I, I don't even want to talk about it. I, it was before I moved out. It was before I moved out. It was my early YouTube bucks. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm an out of box collector, and I still have a shelf of every single Smash Brothers, and they're like arranged like how in Melee when you cr you got all the statues and they were on that table. How's the big Wooly Yoshi? Because I was actually very oh, tempted to get it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's funny because like Electra slept with like used it as like a like a sleeping thing, you Doesn't know. Doesn't it for... have a metal butt? It kind of does. It's tiny. It's a little tiny chip. You know, it's the same. It's it's got the same size RFID tag as the normal uh, amiibo. So it's just it's out just, of proportion. It's a big ass Yoshi. It's it's big Yoshi. I bought that one at Toys R Us. Rip. Um, and I bought it brand new for thirty dollars, and now it's like I don't even know how much that thing is. Wasn't Toys R Us trying to come back online? Uh, no, they're trying to come back in stores as like Jeffrey's Toy Box or something. And uh, it turns out they only closed to try and avoid having to pay their uh, employees because they wanted to, to like downsize their employees, but didn't want to pay them like benefits or severance or anything. Companies are fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Um, so fuck them. So fuck them. Uh, but I liked Toys R Us growing up. Even though they always, like, it was twelve ninety nine for an Amiibo unless you went to Toys R Us. And it was fourteen ninety nine because they, they always overcharged on things just because they could. But then they'd get exclusives like the, the Mii Fighters and... Yeah, I don't know. I don't even like Smash Brothers. I don't even like Smash Brothers. But I still wanted all the little toys. Why don't you like Smash Brothers? Is it a type of game? Yeah, I just don't like fighting games. That's fair. 
Um, and I don't know, I played it so much growing up that I'm just very, very numb to it now. Because uh, I didn't even really like it back then. But I played it a lot because it was the game that we all, me and my brothers, always wanted to play. I played a ton of Melee as a kid, and then that promptly got ruined by the competitive scene. <laughs> Especially nowadays. Oh yeah, that's a... Uh, you like uh, children? <laughs> you like children? And it makes sense, it's Smash Brothers as much as I hate to say it. Yep. 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 I mean... No, I'm not even gonna go that yeah. far. Yep, just... No, I'm good. I told my you like children joke. We're gonna move on from that. Um, no, yeah, I mean, look. Do you have siblings? Nope. Okay. So when you were growing up playing Smash Melee, like, was it... I played level 9 computers! Okay. I was a okay. child. Um, well, that's a, that's, a, that's a little sad. It's a little bit. But, I mean, you know, you're an adult now. You seem to turn out okay. So let's just let's move on from from that. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. I, I've, I've tried many, many times to get into it. I just can't. And it's like the only thing my brothers ever, even to this day, want to play. And it's just like, ugh. Guys. Which means you're going to get your ass kicked. No, exactly. Yeah, so it's just not fun. And I played a fuck That's ton of problem. Brawl. Right? Like, with fighting games, you have to play someone who's of equal skill level. Which is hard to find when you're me. You know, because you got to find another person that also doesn't like fighting games, but is willing to play a fighting game. So, you know, I used to play Brawl, and my main was Pit, because he'd go hi ya ya ya. <laughs> yeah, that, you know, that's, that's I'm kinda it. I'm kind of sad they removed that. No, they did, yeah. So when yeah. Smash 4 came out, I was like, all right, time to hi ya 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 in HD. Um, no, nope. get, uh, get a Chris up which I am have no problems with because that game needs more representation, but mm. my, my spinning bow, no. I want some hi yeah, yeah, man. I just, and then like, you know, he'd call in Palatina's turkeys, flying turkeys and- Flying like turkeys? No, yeah, the ultimate. We always called him the flying turkeys and <gasps> yeah. And then my younger brother would main Meta Knight not knowing at the time he was, yeah. that he was the most OP. He just ended up with him. Um, yeah. Um, last time we talked, uh, you had some pie, and I forgot to ask, what kind of pie was it? It was a chocolate pie. What the hell, yeah, what the hell is like chocolate that. pie? Imagine chocolate pudding in a pie with whipped cream. That's, that's about the best I can give you. That is not pie, that is pudding <laughs> in a shell. <laughs> It basically is. Okay. All right. Well, um, when you eat a real pie, let me know. Um, I had some pecan pie. That's not much better, honestly, though. But it's that's caramel more, and pecans. That's more of a pie. There, there, is, there, yeah. is, there is an organic material in there. Uh, a, a pecan was picked from a plant. Um, and just slapped on and, there, and plant and all. Put, put on a pie and then baked. Um... All right, I think right now is a good time to start wrapping up. I'm going to disconnect. Thank you, everybody, for playing with me. And now me and Skyman are going to take some questions, and then we're going to go. And she's going to go live her life, and I'm going to go live my life. And we may never speak again, because that's how life works. You just... You, chaos and entropy, man. You don't know. All right. What if, do you like cake or pie better? I like cake. Cake is, cake is okay. quite nice. Um, do you see the chat? Are you looking at my chat at all? Yes, I am. I okay, can you read the question from you know him well, the latest one? I, I'm, I'm going to go with no on that one. You can... Nah, it's okay. I'm going to move on. Uh, Georgia, Texas, Florida. Rank them. Can I just put them in a garbage bin? Oh, snap! Oh, snap! <laughs> all of them. Fuck all y'all, red states. Get the fuck out of here. All right. Uh, is pineapple on pizza a sin? If you like it, you, you, I mean, you can eat it. She doesn't like pizza to begin with. What is the best cheese? Pepper Jack? <laughs> Pepper I was Jack. thinking way too long on that. Pepper Jack. Okay. 
Uh, why does Valve hate people with no penises? Um, that's really complicated, and we don't really have time to answer that question. Just try really hard. It might appear one day. Um, do you know about the leaked invasion update? Yes. Um, what are these questions? These questions are for the birds. Hey, don't talk down to birds. They fly. You can't. Um, stock, rocket launcher, or direct hit? Stock. Okay. Um, does Valve know about the beta gibs? Well, they made them. So, yeah. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> nobody at Valve knows about them by this point. Maybe they're all gone. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. How do you feel about potato chips and sandwiches? I've never had them. You ever had that? Huh? Potato chips in a sandwich. In a sandwich. Why? Okay, there's your answer. How much time do y'all spend talking about TF2 beta? Um, well, I mean, we really only just met a couple days ago. Um, but then we talked for like three hours. And now we I talked have... for another two hours. So I guess it's more than most people in the world. I have a friend I talk in length about because he's really into it as well. And that's about it. It's the it, Beta is better than game. It's words to live by. Um, do you like drinking water? Yes. No. No, you don't. Gotta gotta drink it to live. Oh, she doesn't like it. it she's she's nasty. being forced. She's being forced. Okay. Um, top lines in TF2. Top voice lines in TF2. Um, I like um, I like Sun Tzu said that. I like that one because it's multi-layered. Because Sun Tzu didn't say that. He's he's misrepresenting the quote. And then also, you know. Uh, that's why when you get animals, it's called a zoo. Because because of the name, get it? <laughs> what about yours? Uh, I am not a male, therefore I cannot do. I'm not asking you to do an impression. I mean, I I I, I would want to, but I'm not gonna make you. You know. There there's so many good quotes is the problem. Yeah. Um, to narrow it down, oh Jesus, Marasmus and Miss Pauling both have incredibly good ones. Mm. Um. Mm. The one that comes off the top of my head for Miss Pauling is the one where she's drunk with a demo talking about a secret war and two teams and I'm not supposed to be telling you about this. <laughs> oh, hey, demo came back with more beer. Um, have you have you experimented much with that 15.ai website? Do you know what I'm talking about? I don't think I do. There's uh, this website where somebody made... Oh, um, it's that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh. With the That's past my time. It's the it's the computer generated uh, Miss Pauline voice, yeah. In being a donating chat. It's Sky it's kind of scary how things yeah. have got like Love with so that deep yep. face. Yep. What's your favorite Bionicle? The Bionicle guy is asking. Do you do you have a Bionicle fave? Yeah, I didn't grow up with Bionicle specifically. There I you had go. toys, there but you go. with no internet, I didn't know who the hell these things were. Marasmus, you're the worst roommate. He was roommates with Soldier, right? Yep. Yeah, so it'd be, And then Soldier yeah. turned his castle into a raccoon sanctuary mm -hmm. and then killed him. Mm -hmm. And then he gave tours to old ladies and yeah. Then he and he yeah. And Damn. he killed his new roommate, Tom Jones. Yes. And then and then the angels up in heaven killed, killed Tom again. Jones again. Yes. Um, what the hell do they have wrong with Tom Jones? Well, he's only got like two good songs. What would Skyman want from a final comic? That's a good question. I just want the final comic. Okay, I know, I don't... but like, where do you think, like, if you were Woolpaw back in the day, because it's written, it was yeah. written forever ago, where where does it end? Uh, obviously, we would learn uh, the administrator's full backstory. Mm. Um, who exactly she is, because I know that there's a lot of confusion over which of the women are her, because she's lived for years, nobody knows oh, who's okay. what. Um, we would see what her debt is that she's paying, maybe an answer as to Miss Pauling's relation with the administrator. Probably a mercenary dying. Oh yeah. One of, them, one of oh, them's yeah. gotta die, oh, yeah. if not all of them. All of them be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Comic 7. I just want Comic 7 and we're never getting it. 
Comic 7 is on the Valve hard drive, but it's buried under 7 terabytes of Femscout porn, and they can't find it. <laughs> they can't. I believe they it. just can't find it. They've been <laughs> searching, and they just gave up. Um, is it Miss Pauline or Miss Pauling? Pauling. It is not Pauline. I hate it when people say Miss Pauline. I've been saying that all day. Okay. Um, TF2 lore gave my brain cells a coma. What? I'd say that's an appropriate response. It's... <laughs> Okay. Whatever. It's weird. Remember when they had Fem Soldier? They had Fem Everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they were interesting concepts, but I'm I'm really glad they didn't go through with that. Mm. Okay. Uh, what else we got? Do you remember a few streams ago when I told you about a Portal themed Half Life, Alex? Yes. Would you like to see a teaser for it? Yes. Uh, TF 2s tenth class should be who? Go ahead. Never. It should not exist. And no, it should not be Miss Pauling. No, it should be a dog. Yeah, give me my dog. My it's, April 4th dog. It's the guard dog. Or, or, Spaceman. Spaceman. Moving on. Um, has the blank considered implementing the VIP mode from TF2C? No. Uh, but we are, cons if you're talking about creators.tf, we are considering doing servers for TF2C. So, what is the worst TF2 map? Go ahead. Can you answer that first? I'm trying to think. Okay. Um, well, I'm thinking too, so. <laughs> um, Probably a CTF map. Steel! Steel is stupid confusing. Steel. I'll say steel for the worst map, but for my personal least favorite, you people are gonna hate me. I don't like process. Oh, I don't like process either. It's overdone. Comp viability. And that's, that's my problem. Yeah. Every single competitive style match I've played in like pub uh, pickup games or whatever, hmm. st it, not steel, sorry. God, no, not steel. Process. process. And I get real tired of process. You ever watch a Banny stream? It's all process, it's all, isn't it? It's, 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 it's one long process to watch a Banny stream. Um, CP5 is overrated. Stop, Valve. I don't like C I don't like CP5, like 5CP. I do I'm, not like it. I mean, I think Valve will stop working on 5CP maps. Yeah. Um, I mean, the curse of that is they're not going to work on anything else either. But you're not going to get any new 5CP maps, so your wish is granted in a way. Uh, payload is underrated. I agree. Uh, do you guys think Cyberpunk will live up to the hype? No! Mm -mm. It'll be good, but absolutely fucking not. People are probably overhyping the hell out of it. Hmm. Hmm. What do you think Dave Riller's been doing since Blue Moon? Working on Team Fortress 2 quitting and then working on something else. I don't know what he's working on. He could be on the Citadel team, to be honest. We don't know. What kind of wacky mode would you add if you could? I have played a lot of wacky maps, but uh, they're all blanking aside from that Battle Royale one. You that played was one that? Of the more, I've, well, I played the one where you're in the plane and it drops you onto the giant island and it's got manpower power-ups. But I have also played the one M probably like over a year yeah way, well over a year at this point that was like in super early alpha where it's a giant ass map that could not be actually properly rendered in because of the culling and everything uh, and you just picked up items and just went around and tried to kill people so yeah I don't know what happened to that one it's still in development I know exactly what you're Hell? talking about yes and it's way better it's actually quite good I would assume so yeah um, I would <laughs> add um, cancel game mode called Bounty. But, okay, go ahead. Sorry. How did they get around the uh, limitation of separate, the source se engine? Now that the source code's out, it's in a separate build. So it's a completely ah, okay. separate game. Yeah. Um, Koth Nipple Twister is the best. I've never played that one. Koth Nipple Twister is the best. I'm going to agree with you on that one. <laughs> really it is a masterpiece. should play my Screen Fortress map. Love so <sighs> what do you think about pastime? Yeah. I made a video on pastime. Yeah. Do you like it? I would like it if it was fully realized into what it was supposed to be in terms of mm, what Red okay. Robot wanted it to be, not sure. Sure. what they actually came out with. 
Um, it's a good point. Train saw laser best map? No. That's like the most overrated meme map next to Wub Wub Wub. That's just the one everybody goes to. There's so many good meme maps. Go to Nipple Twister. I haven't played that. I've not had this first time hearing about it. It wow. is. It, it's definitely a meme map. <laughs> is there a nipple? Like, is there a nipple in the map? I don't actually know. <laughs> but it will make you want to twist your nipples. It will make me want to. Wow. <laughs> that's. That's. Okay. Um, I think my favorite joke map is trade minecraft I, I i am not ashamed to admit the countless hours i spent on that years ago i would just I, did you you at all not not minecraft i did the lobby one oh I can't trade the plaza name yeah, yeah i spent a lot on plaza because i spent a lot of time screwing around in a trade server i used to go on trade minecraft and go up into the sniper thing and just snipe for hours for hours. I had nothing better to do. Yeah. Hours. I did that on some orange maps. Orange, to oh, I love orange. Orange deserves more credit for being- Orange 100% crits, oh, infinite fuck ammo. Fuck, oh, fuck that. It's l I always wanted to just, it, I, I remember like if it was low gravity, I'm out. All crits, I'm out. I want to go on like a tri like a real orange server with vanilla settings, and I want to snipe from across there, the map. Have there ever been actual tournaments set in CP Orange? You know, I if, feel if, like there if have. there hasn't been, if we don't have recordings of it, I'm going to force Creators.tf to to host one, <laughs> or I quit for April, or I quit the team. So, um, all right, I think this is enough for now. Um, have you eaten dinner? Have you eaten? Nope, I haven't eaten dinner. Um, was that, uh, your significant other being earlier like, hey, eat? I think it was just wondering if I was, how oh, it was okay. going. Okay. Um, cool. I will let you go. Um, hope we see you again sometime. Um, hope you do well. Hope you do well. She never eats. Well, I mean, that's her business. Um, so I will, I'm tired. Today's, yeah. The, the, you, you should probably get some rest. I think I'm going to die. Bye. Wouldn't that be, <laughs> wouldn't that be a way to go? My last words is, yeah, I think I'm going to die. Bye. You just fall over. Bye. And then I end the stream. And that's the last anybody ever hears from me again. All right. Um, thank you very much, Skyman, for checking out Valve News Network stream. Thank you very much for not calling me. Uh, someone who makes shit up and stuff. I really appreciate when people don't say that. Um, okay, so an Apple Watch will be in the mail as thank you. Um, and I expect it in three days. I, I, I mean, it's Corona. You can't expect that in three days. Um, yeah, and hopefully um, we uh, stream again in the future and maybe we hear more uh, from you uh, in some point in the future. Okay, good night. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to mute you for a minute. <laughs>